Hello, my brethren, and welcome again. Today, I want to kick off starting something a little different. And I want to do something that's a little more active with everyone watching called Change My Mind. And it's going to be just that. I'm going to tell you what I believe and why I believe that. And then I want you to leave comments below and we can discuss what you believe to be different from that. So today's topic is the best frame in Warframe. And I get this question a bit often. And what kicked it off was I did get a bit of a fan mail from uh, Savaris, Savaris, whatever. And he asked, Big Papa Tenno, who is the best frame in Warframe? Well, that's Octavia. Oh, and P.S., can you tell me how to get girls to like me? Yeah. All right. So why do I believe Octavia to be the best frame in the game? Well, it's not just me, but if you talk to a lot of veteran players, those who have played all the different frames and played them a lot, a lot of them will say Octavia is the best. Now, does best me my favorite? No. Uh, Naros is my favorite, but... I will not deny Octavia is the best. So, why? Well, to kind of demonstrate a little bit, I came up with different categories of this and tried to highlight all the different things that make a, a frame good and do all the frames fill them. Now, grant, some categories could be weighted more than the others and I mean, you look, you look at this, and Octavia just happens to fill a lot of these. Does a lot of damage. She'd be defensive in nature. Provides team buffs. Uh, one of the very few frames, if you look at this category I put, has a team-centric passive. She's one of the few who actually has one. She's got a fun factor. Now, grant that's subjective. She scales probably the best out of any frame in the game. Uh, she gives energy, which there aren't that many that do. Uh, she can stealth, she can crowd control, she can do any mission, either with teammates or solo, and, uh, oh, I also added another category just for the hell of it. Uh, can make beats fatter than Saren's ass. She can do that too. So. It's hard not to say she's the best when she does things so well. And what shocks me is really two things. One, that she has not been nerfed yet, knowing how powerful she is. The second is, knowing how powerful she is, not as many people play her. And why is that? I think some people may be intimidated by the Mandacord. It's really not hard. Uh, maybe I could do, if you guys would like, maybe I could do a uh, tutorial on it someday. And maybe how to do, like, some weird stuff with it. Now, it's actually pretty easy. All you do is just go into the Mandacord. And it has a default one that you can use. And, of course, everything you do is based off the melody. So, basically, everything in, like, the pink. So, as long as you crouch, attack, jump to that, then you're going to be getting the buffs. Now you can make your own, which can be pretty cool to use. Like this, I just made one that's simple for everyone to use. And then you can also get into, let's say, doing more complex stuff. Like I mixed a couple time signatures with this. But it kind of messes a lot of people up, so I don't use it so much. Either way, Let's pick something simple. And let me show you. Alright, let's bring out some 150 heavy gunners, because why not? Hint. It's not going to go well for them. Let's crouch for some stealth. No way you're avoiding damage from everything except AoE. You can attack to the melody to, you know, get an attack bonus. 
jump to the melody to get a to get a speed bonus. I mean, she does so much just for the team that not counting herself. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, the stealth alone is is just worth it. You could take out all the other ones and it would still be totally worth it. You know, the funny thing about Octavia's or augments and to me it's kind of like a small business giving Trump a gift card to Hot Topic. Is he going to use it? No. Is it necessarily a bad thing? No. Just that she has augments, but you're probably not going to use them very much, if at all. One of them I can see a use for, and that is if the damage is just so super high and you want to say stealth and away from AoE, then you can just send your death ball off somewhere else and let that let the enemies take care of themselves, and you can just stay hidden and not take the damage. But otherwise, you're probably not going to use it much, if at all. So, again, let me know if you want me to do some sort of tutorial on how to properly use Octavia and how to use the Mandacord, and not only just using Octavia, but also just being in a group with Octavia, like how to actually get the buffs going, because that's her greatest strength is the buffs that you get. Well, that and killing everything. And also, let me know... What you guys think would be the best frame in the game, if you agree it's Octavia or not. And if not, prove to me why it is someone else. And I also want to mention, I am doing another 500 plaque giveaway this Friday. I will put a link in the description. So, also like and subscribe for more videos. And thank you very much for watching. Take care, guys. That's it.